we go. This is your weekly reading. This is a general reading. So if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. And in the extended, I'll go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. If it does not resonate with you, then I highly recommend you checking out your birth chart and checking out your moon, rising, and Venus signs. If your sun sign doesn't resonate with you, more than likely, one of those signs will. And that goes for all tarot readers, not just me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified all things Virgo. And I upload Virgo readings every single week. I'll lay the oracle cards down and we will hop right into your tarot reading. Woo! That one wanted to come out. Solitude. In silence, peace prevails. Journey by moonlight. Believe in magic. Miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. And what you're not seeing, protected by angels, you are cherished by the angels. Okay. So I feel like there's some information from maybe your higher self that you will obtain in finding peace and quiet. I also feel like that I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of confusion, a little bit of, um, I don't know what to do. A little, there's this, this unknown feeling that I'm getting with this reading so far. But I mean, with what you're not seeing with the oracle cards is protected by angels. You are cherished by the angels. So I'm going to lay the tarot cards down and we're going to see where this goes, Virgo. Queen of Cups. King of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Five of Cups. Ace of Swords. The sun and the overall energy for this reading is six of wands. So I feel like there's something that you're trying to overcome or you're in the process of overcoming something. That's why the universe is like in silence, peace prevails. It's finding, it's becoming extremely clear on where it is that you want to go. I am going to clarify uh, this queen of cups. This is a person, okay, and the king of pentacles is a situation. Okay, so I feel like I feel like there might be somebody in your life that is very loving and caring and genuine and passionate and exciting and fun. Um, I feel like this person is extremely resourceful and very knowledgeable. This person is um, sexy and fun, doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partner. Whoever this person is, uh, there is a, a connection with them. There is a connection with this person. This king of pentacles, there is a major change that needs to happen here. I feel like there might be information that you need to obtain about this person. I don't know if this is a masculine or a feminine in your life, but I just know that there's somebody who's maybe starting over, starting something. There's something about... Um, Okay, so this person is very emotional, very resourceful. This person asks a lot of questions. This person is also very, um, very capable, very financially stable, very grounded. This person literally can control. This person is very successful that's in your life. I don't know who this person is. But this person is somebody you're looking up to that you're trying to learn from. That's what I was trying to figure out was like, is this person trying to learn from you or are you trying to learn from this person? And this person, you are trying to learn from this person. You're trying to learn how to ask more questions, learn how to be more stable, learn how to be more grounded, learn how to be more resourceful, learn how to be more passionate and fun and exciting and inspiring. Like, Whoever this person is, this person could be like some sort of leader or a mentor or um, could be a relationship. It could be somebody in your relation. It could be the person that you're in a relationship with and that's how you see them. This could be a friend. Or this could be a coworker. This could be anybody in your life that you see as somebody that you would want to learn from. And I feel like that's what you're transforming is this king of pentacles 
is you becoming, you stepping into that grounded energy, you stepping into that transformative, compassionate, fun, caring. I mean, and I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that you're not any of those things. I'm just saying like, there's some sort of switch that's flipping and you're moving into this, this new letting this person who lets go of things like they're just so it's, you know, pick your battles, pick your battles with certain things. And you're realizing that as you get older or as time passes on, there are less battles that you want to pick that it's like time is of the essence. That is like the most valuable thing that you can give somebody is time. And do you want to waste it fighting with this person or fighting with somebody else? And that's what this is, is this person over here is like, why do that? Why worry about this? Why worry about that? So that's why I think it could be some, you're, you're in a relationship with this person. But whoever it is, this person is somebody who can start over and just create things from thin air pretty much. It, this is you moving on and you learning how to overcome these specific things. Moving into this, releasing and letting go. And you're realizing that in the process of learning how to let things go, learning how to release things. It's not, it, you can't take people with you. You can't move into that, that energy with somebody. This is something you have to do on your own. This is a journey alone. And it's about really facing um, the choices that you've made in the past, really acknowledging them and really getting clear on the direction that you want to go. It's like one day you wake up and you're like, I just don't want to do this anymore. And it's, like there's, it's not so much a tired energy as just it's like a release of whatever it is that needs to be gone. It is about finding your happiness and about finding um, the center of your universe, the center of your passion, the center of your love, the center of your life. Like this is about discovering that and overcoming any obstacles in your life. That's why you got the journey by moonlight because this isn't something that you've done before. Okay, Virgo, in the extended, I'm going to clarify these a little bit more. I'll go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I'll also answer three yes or no questions in the extended, so make sure you bring those. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified all things Virgo, and I upload Virgo readings every single week. A couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the titles resonate for you, I highly recommend you check them out, and I'll see you over there.